Um, my name is Amy Wolf. I'm a certified financial planning practitioner and a certified divorce financial analyst. I've been in the financial industry for about 16 years now. And it was about six years ago now, I believe, that I first met Ron Oski. Before that, I didn't, um, didn't know a thing about collaborative practice. So it's been since that time period that I really started to gear my practice more towards collaborative. Um, and back, um, about five, six years ago now, Ron shared with me a vision he had of trying to bring together um, the different disciplines, the different team members under one roof. And he had shared that vision with other folks here in Minnesota. And so we started uh, talking about that, dialoguing about that. And that's kind of how this Collaborative Center evolved. It was actually back in January of 2006 that we officially opened our doors. And um, during that process, as we were working together as a group to figure out how to, how to structure this, this entity, we had to, um, unfortunately, we had to figure out uh, how do we take the dream and set it up in that legal structure that would work. Um, in the end, we um, opted that Ron Oski and I would be the owners of a sub S corp, and that's where we um, came up with our name. It's Collaborative Alliance Inc. Executive Suites. Um, and, and it, so how we're structured is um, we sublease space back to our other uh, colleagues. Right now we have about 10,000 square feet. We're doing another expansion and we'll have within another six months probably another 3,000 square feet. So we'll be at about 13,000 square feet. In the space here we have 28 different businesses. Um, within the space we have about 55 professionals, staff, part-time, full-time folks that office out of here. Um, but one of the things that, that was really important to us when we were creating the space was to make sure that, the, um, that as we branded ourselves here, that the community understood clearly that while we're like-minded professionals within the space, we do have our separate entities, our separate businesses. Our slogan actually is separate businesses, similar vision, same location. Um, so we put a lot of thought into that. Um, within the space here, we have uh, probably about 15 collaborative attorneys. Um, again, I'm a financial professional. We have a few different financial professionals here, um, several different mental health professionals, including coaches, um, child specialists, some, some individuals that just do therapy work. It was, it was so exciting to, to move from my I, I office in downtown Minneapolis, and our center here is located about 15 minutes outside of Minneapolis. It was so exciting to me to actually move into the space. I'm kind of an early riser myself. Um, I used to be into my office downtown by, you know, usually by 7, 7.30 every morning. But once we developed this space, and I, I got so much more excited to come to work every day, usually I'm here by 6, 6.30 every morning, as is Ron Oski, and we're kind of fighting for the first parking spot. But it's so fun to be able to come to work every day with professionals that you respect, that have the same value system as you. Um, so it's, it's a very positive environment. Um, when clients enter the space, we, we want them to feel very welcomed and we want them to feel calm. So we did do a lot of um, just research around color and psychology as an example. So we've, we've been careful with choosing the color, the colors that we use when people enter, the, the way that we've structured the seating. Um, in the conference rooms, as an example, we have, we've used kind of a soft yellow color. Yellow is uh, positive creative thinking, so we've used that to help. We um, have conference tables that we designed that can be brought down to a round size. Some professionals prefer to work on a round table um, so that nobody sits on a, a certain side. We, we can expand it larger if we have the full team. Um, we've chosen just kind of earth tones which are kind of bringing people back to the family, grounding people. You know, so again, it's, it's, um, it's our desire when they're, they're kind of walking down the hallway to enter our space, the, the double doors are wide open so that they walk right into the space. Um, so we're hopeful and we've, had, we've certainly had a lot of compliments from clients that they, they feel good entering the space. And we have really good quality staff up at the front desk who um, greet clients immediately, give them coffee or tea or water, just you know, make sure that while they're waiting out there for their professional that, that their time is um, spent in a calm manner. You know, so it's, it's been fun to um, work with the colleagues in this type of setting, and I think it's been a, a positive experience for clients coming into the setting to work here too. We really weren't sure how clients would view potentially having both attorneys and other team professionals 
under one roof. We were wondering if they would feel comfortable with that or not, or if that would feel a little too close for them. And what we found out is that really it was us professionals who were worrying too much about it. The, the public was not worried about it at all. They, I think they saw the conveniences of being able to come here, not having attorneys and other professionals have, have to travel to get to a meeting location, was hugely convenient for them. Um, as professionals, we find that our communication on cases is so much better. I feel like um, rather than wa wasting time sending emails around to try to get a, a time together to do a debrief, we can just walk down the hall and talk to each other. So the quality of cases, I think, is much better because the communication is better. Um, it seems like we can offer a lot more hybrid type team meetings. You know, as an example, um, if clients start off um, in, a, let's say, a five-way meeting with myself as a financial professional and the, the attorneys in the room, if we work for, a, let's say, an hour, hour and a half when we complete the financial piece and now they're going to move on to parenting, it's easy for me to just um, leave and, and go, go to my own office and work for a while. Or if they want to start off doing parenting issues and then later they can pull me in. So it's really easy to, to customize the meeting to what their needs are. Um, if they're doing some initial meetings and um, a child specialist looks like it's needed, it's pretty easy to go walk down the hall and see if Deb Clements is, is available to step on into the meeting and, and do a, a quick meeting and see if they're comfortable using her. You know, so it's been really easy to, to connect clients with professionals and to offer customization and flexibility with how the meetings are, are done. I, re I remember one meeting we actually had where um, we started off um, having the coaches, the attorneys, the clients, and myself all in, in a room. And we, we had a, an agenda for the day that we thought we were going to work through. In reality, within a few minutes, we realized we weren't going to be able to make any progress on the agenda because there were some emotional issues happening. So the coaches and the clients remained in the room, the attorneys and I left, and they worked through the emotional issues for the day. And yet it was still okay for us, even though we had the, the meeting slotted on our calendars, because we could just walk down the hall to our offices, we could still be productive and do other things. You know, so very, it's a wonderful environment, wonderful environment to work in and for clients to come to. It's been very inspiring.